And the next project I'm going to talk about is one that I worked on a couple months ago with Anthropic to visualize data for their Anthropic Economic Index, which was all about understanding the effects of AI on the economy. And this one really challenged me to embrace flexibility at a more organizational level through cross-team collaboration and communication. And we wanted to visualize this really cool data set of how AI is used for tasks in various occupations. And like most data viz projects, it's this balancing act, right? It's balancing the data, the audience goals, the client goals, and the design. So what you're looking at here was my first kind of draft of what a user journey could look like. And it was a very data viz like a classic data viz design where, oh, let's show an overview and then allow the audience to deep dive into a specific job or occupation. But the funny thing is, when you come in as the data viz expert, you're rarely coming in as the data expert. You're not the person who has, or like the team, who has you know, lived and breathed the data for months, who know it inside and out. And in order to gain that knowledge about the data, you have to make sure you're in contact with the right people, with the right teams. And this panned out really beautifully in this project. <laughs> I say, as I show this slide with crosses all over where the data team told me this design isn't really gonna work. Uh, but that's the point, right? It was a great example of cross-team collaboration and moving between all these different conversations between really data-focused conversations with the experts to conversations about design and how we can bring our understanding of the data into the design process. And then implementation conversations. How big is the data set? Like, can we load it onto the site? What will the performance be? And this idea of collaborating across teams is so crucial to achieve clarity. And you know, talking about these ideas, spitballing together about the design and the data with all these different people in the, in the room slash the virtual room uh, is what allowed the final visualization to grow from a tiny idea that wasn't gonna work out in the initial way I envisioned it, but it literally took someone saying, oh, I think the color could apply to X instead of Y. And that changed the whole thing. And it brought us to a great final design that achieved the goals, that was very true to the data, that does provide somewhat of an overview of occupations, and then is also true to the nuance of the data as well. So we still have the detail of the data there, it still achieves the goals, and it's not the flashiest visualization, uh, but I, I do love it because I think it's a slightly fresh take on this type of chart that doesn't typically have each square representing something inherent, but in this case it does, and it worked so well because we had the nuance of the data here, and this really couldn't have come together without this cross-team collaboration and communication to get to this very effective design. And the last project I wanna talk about is one that I consider the first point when I really started to flex my creativity muscle. And it was approached through coding, right? At this point, I wasn't really playing up in design, but coding was my main tool in the toolbox at this point. And so the question that I realized this project answered was, what is the best way to build this flexibility, to build this ability to change course and to pivot, pick up different tools? And I kind of believe it's to let them both go wild at the same time. And that's what this project was. And this was a personal project, which is where, you know, I don't have any constraints except those that I put on myself. Uh, and I can spend my time doing whatever I want. So in this case, you're looking at example code that exists from Observable that I pulled in and I decided I am going to make this into something that looks a little bit more like a record. And you can see that I start to like pull in my drop shadow here. Uh, this, is a <laughs> this is a data set that I made up myself. These are my opinions on Taylor Swift's Tortured Poets album that came out last year. And at the end of it, I decided I am going to spend my time pushing my development skills to the limit because that's what I want to do. I'm going to make this crazy animation that no one is ever going to see. It's the introductory animation to this visualization, but I'm going to do it. Uh, because my designer self thought it up and my developer self 
was like, okay, I guess we'll just do it. And oh yeah, oh, and this is the final interactive version. And I think simultaneously pushing both the technical and the creative in this way is what made it easier for me in the future and in client projects and future personal projects to then kind of switch more easily between them. And that's what it takes. It just takes trying it the first time, right? And for me, this was that first time where I really ventured out of my role as a developer, as a technical coder. And so yeah, this is, I feel like, my takeaway from my experience doing data viz, that it really lies on this spectrum, right? The left brain, the right brain balance, the how can we make data more artistic, uh, it lies on this spectrum and it requires flexibility and collaboration to really create something meaningful.